In the early summer of 1961, Queen Elizabeth sits down on a couch at a country castle to share a TV dinner with her mother. On the plates, macaroni and cheese. On the TV, Jackie Kennedy dazzling Paris. She's so young, the Queen Mother says. I always thought she was the same maid as you. The Queen replies, she is. The moment is striking. In a few days, Jackie Kennedy will leave France and arrive with her husband at Buckingham Palace for dinner. Already, the Queen is slowly boiling over with jealousy. Her mother simply cannot stop talking about Jackie. The moment is also not real. It comes at the beginning of episode 8 of the second season of the hit Netflix show The Crown, which depicts the life of Queen Elizabeth II after she takes the throne following the early death of her father, King George. The show follows the Queen's life as she navigates family troubles and weighty world events. As a historical document, it's certainly not a dissertation. The spirit is there, even if the macaroni and cheese is made up. Though it did look rather delicious. In the arc of the show, the Kennedys' visit to Buckingham Palace comes at the climax of the season, using the visit, and all its tension, to depict a queen coming to accept her personal limitations, dowdy, unsexy, not well-read, but also firmly grasping the crown's power. Britain did indeed go positively mad for Jackie when she arrived. The Queen wasn't pleased. The Queen's resentment was real, Kitty Cayley wrote in The Royals. The show depicts that displeasure in the on-screen Queen's reaction to the Kennedys' arrival at Buckingham Palace, when her staff of normally stiff butlers and even Prince Philip jockey to see the First Lady emerging from the motorcade, 